Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to convert a percentage like 14% to a common fraction, which is when you have a number at the top. Um, let's put some random thing here and a number at the bottom. Okay, now that looks like a divide side. Um, it, a fraction is when you have like three over four. So for example, so all that you're going to actually do is as soon as you see the percentage sign, I just want you to change this to 14 over 100. Now, you just need to always remember to try simplify this as far as possible. So we know that the number two can go into both of these. You could think of it as 14 is the same as seven multiplied by two, and 100 is the same as 50 multiplied by two. These can both cancel, and so we're left with seven over 50. So for the rest of this lesson, we're just going to do a whole bunch of those. All right. So the first thing you do, it's very easy. Just say 32 over 100. That's all you're going to do because that'll get rid of the percentage sign. Then you're just going to simplify. So what number can go into both of these? Well, the number four works, but maybe you only wanted to think of the number two. So then we could say that this is the same as 16 multiplied by two. And this is the same as 50 multiplied by 2. So then these 2s would cancel. And then you're left with this. But don't stop there. You must always see if you can go further. Now, the number 2 can go into both of these. So I could write this as 8 multiplied by 2 and 25 multiplied by 2. So those 2s can cancel. And so we're left with 8 over 25. And there is no number that can go into both of those. 5%. So step one, change it from 5% five, 5 to 5 over 100. Okay? The next step is what number can go into both of these? Well, I know that this one, I can leave it like that, and then I can change this one to 20 multiplied by 5 so that these 5s can cancel. Now, when you have nothing at the top, just put a 1, and so there's the answer. 40 eight percent so step one to change it to a common fraction we just say 48 over 100 then we simplify so i know that the number two can go into both of these you could also say the number four that'll actually be a lot faster but i'm just going to say the number two because sometimes when you're in a test you might feel a bit stressed and you can't think of bigger numbers so we can just say that and that and so these twos can cancel and then we've got 24 over 50 now. Now I know that the number two can still go into both of these. So I can rewrite this as 12 multiplied by two and 25 multiplied by two. So the twos can cancel. And so I'm left with 12 over 25. And then there is no number that can go into both of those. So the first step is the same. Just say that over there and then you're just gonna go simplify. So I know that the number two can go into both of these. So I'm gonna write this as 56 multiplied by two, and then 100 I can write as 50 multiplied by two. So the twos could then cancel, and then I have 56 over 50. Now I know that the number 56, I could write it as 28 multiplied by two, and this can be written as 25 multiplied by two, so that those two can now cancel, and then you're left with that. Now, your teacher might ask you to change it to a mixed number because this is an improper fraction because the number at the top is larger. So if your teacher does ask you to change it, well then all that you do is, we've looked at this before, um, how many times can this number go inside that number? Well, that would be once and then there'd be three left over. So that would be your final answer, one and three over 25, or your teacher might be happy with you leaving it like that.